Go West Young Man. The quote, attributed to newspaperman Horace Greeley, spoke to the exceptional opportunities available during America's westward expansion as manifest destiny took hold. The West was open and free, the next phase of the American experiment. What exactly that looked like would be defined by the brave souls who cleared the path, the path. Before continue, please subscribe, share and comment. Thank you. Fast forward to today, and we're at another tipping point. The internal combustion power train in passenger cars is at its peak and as technologies and perceptions pivot, the forward-looking are gearing up for the exceptional opportunities of fully electric cars in very different ways. Ways. Tesla is hellbent on autonomy and solving the big picture traffic riddle, and building doors that don't work right. Chevy's gone all in on range and low cost with the bull. Nissan still sells the leaf. And then there are the startups, small companies with big VC funding that claim the moon while praying someone in their org knows how to build a factory, a factory. The final players are the major car makers who don't offer a standalone EV for a variety of reasons, but instead shoehorn electrification into an existing car. It's easy to discount these as compliance cars designed to meet specific EV mandates while requiring as little investment as possible. Sergio Martian famously claimed Fiat loses $14,000 on each 500D it sells and urged people not to buy the car. Then you drive something like the recently updated 2017 Volkswagen E-Golf and think that this shoehorn electrification was surely the right idea all along. Long. 